Hey, what's going on guys? TBL here, coming back at you on this wonderful Memorial Day Monday. I hope you guys in the U.S. are all enjoying your time off from work and off from school. Well, that is if you get that time off. Not everybody does. And I don't know if they actually celebrate this in European countries. I think it is just an American holiday. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoy it as we honor the soldiers who fight every single day to keep us free. Because of them, I can do the things that I want to do, including playing video games all day thanks to the holiday. I don't have to go to work today, so I'm going to be doing nothing but playing me some good times on some video games, hopefully as much as I can all day today. Going to be jamming out on a bit of Call of Duty, might jump over to a bit of uh, Destiny, get some Iron Banner matches in. I've played through a bit of that already. The drops are real, by the way. I've been getting so many uh, 335 gauntlets, and I got a couple of the... Actually, no, I got one of the fusion rifles to drop, and it dropped with a fantastic roll. So Iron Banner's been pretty good to me thus far. I've only gone through on one character. My Warlock got him up pretty much to rank 5. I'm like a match or two away from hitting that. Still gotta do my secondary characters. But yeah, gaming all day sounds like a pretty darn good plan to me. As you guys can see here, jamming out to a little bit of Black Ops 3 on one of these new DLC maps. I think this one's called Verge. I just call it Mad Max World. <laughs> Believe me, if you've played on this map, you'll understand why I call it that. It's like a dystopian future sort of thing with gangs and whatnot ruling the wasteland. It's got a very Mad Max vibe, so... From here on out, I'm just going to refer to this place as Mad Max World, or Mad Max Land will also do. Now, I actually haven't had much experience with this map in general. I haven't really been playing too much Black Ops 3 over the past couple of weeks, mainly because, you know, I've been really having a great time on Destiny with the April Spring update, and for the past couple of days, I've really been playing a lot of The Division. I know, kind of weird, right? Well, Division did just have that brand new update go out that brought in some new missions, uh, new incursion, and the high value targets and search and destroy things. These are new dailies and weeklies that are actually pretty darn fun and they're pretty lucrative. They drop uh, the teal set pieces, which I guess is the highest tiering of items you can get right now. So yeah, I've been playing a lot of other games, so it was really kind of weird to come back to uh, Black Ops 3. Ooh, as I fail that gravity spikes. Oh man, I've actually gotten every single specialist up to uh, the hero or classified armor set except Ruin here. He's the last one I'm working on. This is actually my very first time really playing through with the class. <laughs> it really kind of just dawned on me the other day when I finished up all of the other specialists. The one before this I finished up was uh, Firebreak with the Heat Wave shenanigans. I realized I've never really played Ruin, so these past couple of days I've been trying to get in on it and trying to get into the class, and holy crap, that gravity spikes. It's like one way or the other, it's either great and mauls everything in front of you, or you just pop it and immediately get melted midair. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those things that seems to always work for your enemies against you, but never works for you. I remember being hit outside of rooms, around corners, behind cover, from other people popping their gravity spikes, but I have to literally be right in front of somebody or else it's just not going to hit for me. So yeah, there's a whole lot of shenanigans going on with that, but I'm really just kind of getting back into Black Ops 3 as a whole. If you want an idea for how long it's been since I actually really put some time into it, when I came back and started playing it again, I hadn't realized that the DLC had dropped. So, you know, I started it up, went into multiplayer, played a couple of matches, and uh, everything was good, and then you know how you go back into the menu and... Every once in a while, it'll just blast you with the advertisement, Hey, the new DLC's out. Go buy it. And I was like, oh, when did this come out? So, went ahead and downloaded it and have been trying to get into some of these new maps. Thus far, I don't hate any of them. There's definitely been a few that are interesting. I like Mad Max World here. Then there's two others that are, like, in the sky. One of them's, like, on frickin' Mustafar above some boiling lava and whatnot. That's kind of an odd map. And then the other one's, like, a floating resort. I think they are Rift and Spire, respectively. Then we have the Asian-themed map. I think it's called Knockout. That one I actually kind of like. It's definitely got some interesting lane structure that I've been kind of enjoying. Plus, the aesthetics are great. So there's that. Again, I've actually been mostly enjoying these DLC maps. I haven't had too much time to play on them, and I'm still not really used to all of them. I definitely don't know the lane structure in and out like I do the baseline maps for Black Ops 3. But, you know, I don't hate them yet, which is definitely saying something, because I usually hate the DLC maps in the uh, more recent COD games. So we'll see how long it lasts. We'll say uh, Black Ops 3 has been treating me fairly well 
for the past couple of days. I even got a DLC weapon, guys. I got a DLC weapon without having to pay any money for it. Now, granted, it's the rocket launcher, the L4 Siege, but you know, it's still a DLC gun and I actually kind of like the Siege. It's really weird. It's a multi-pod rocket launcher that is either lock-on or free fire. You get four shots in a magazine and I think it's pretty neat. It's great for taking down kill streaks. So, you know, I'm kind of happy with it. I would have much preferred the uh, the new FAMAS, the FFAR, because apparently that's a thing. Fastest firing assault rifle in the game. Or that, uh, or that shotgun handgun that I keep getting destroyed by, the Marshall 16. Talk about pay to win. In, uh, in a few of the matches before this, there were one or two guys just running around with nothing but that, one-shotting me from unreasonable ranges. How is that gun? Do you guys have it? Let me know in the comment section below if it's actually worth your time or if I'm whining about nothing here. It just seemed like it was getting some really easy, cheesy kills on me. I'm gonna laugh if it's actually a terrible weapon and I was just getting outplayed. Anyways, other than that, we're just going to have ourselves a lot of fun playing some video games today. Might even be able to hold a couple of live streams if I can get some uh, get some PC work done. I got some new PC parts coming in today. Got myself a brand new cooler that I am going to be installing sometime after this video concludes. And whether or not I can get that thing in and a couple of other things set up will determine whether or not we'll be having ourselves a live stream before the uh, before the end of the day. Who knows, by the time you guys are watching this video, I might have my new Corsair liquid cooler all set up and ready to rock and roll. Super excited about that. We're getting into summer and I uh, definitely don't need all of the extra heat that this monster of a PC produces. Super excited about that and I cannot wait to test it out. And if we can get things set up, I might even go back and play me some old school Call of Duty games like some Modern Warfare 1, 2, some Black Ops 1. You know, I'll go over there and bust out the Xbox One and just make today an official Call of Duty day. Or go play Overwatch, because everybody's playing Overwatch right now. <laughs> everybody's playing Overwatch. I can't blame them. It's a really fun game. Uh, but alright, I'm starting to ramble, so we're coming up on the end of the video here, and there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about. In honor of Memorial Day and all of the veterans who serve in our military, Activision and Call of Duty are holding a sort of charity. This weekend, they announced a special promotion for the Call of Duty Endowment Valor Calling Card Sets, which are a set of animated emblems in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 that you can purchase. These emblems will only run you $3.99, and all of the proceeds go to Activision's Call of Duty Endowment Program, which provides funds to help military veterans find jobs after their time serving in the military comes to an end. The Call of Duty Endowment Program is a nonprofit that Activision started way back in 2009. That's right, it's been around for quite a while, and to this date has provided 23,000 job placements for military veterans. Yeah, it's a heck of a charity, and it's definitely something I can stand behind. You can find the emblem pack in the Call of Duty store. It'll run you about $3.99 and will grant you three animated emblems, one for sky, one for sea, and one for land. I normally don't shill Activision products too much, but this is one for a good cause. I put up the four bucks for it, and I'm happy to know that money is going towards a good charity. But alright guys, it's going to be it for this one. Be sure to let me know in the comments how you're going to spend your Memorial Day. And anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Happy Memorial Day to all of you. And as always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.